face many disasters. Climate change is causing more frequent, extreme and unpredictable climate-related hazards, making investment in early warning more urgent than ever. The primary goal of disaster risk reduction is prevention, but when that is not possible, then it is important to minimize the harm to people, assets and livelihoods. October 13th annually is recognized as International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction. Developed by the United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction, the 2022 theme is Early Warning and Early Action for All. And so when we speak about disaster risk reduction and building climate resilience in communities of the economy, it is about how can we sustain the livelihood of people? Because at the end of the day, persons must go back home. We need our schools to be in a good shape so that the children can go to school. And so disaster risk reduction is important um, in how we as a nation, with as individuals, as persons, can adapt to the changes that are happening to us. We have to take the necessary steps that our people can ensure that they're safer. So we understand that hurricanes and so will become more frequent, more intense. So what we need to do is to, 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 to understand how these hazards will impact on us, uh, how they can impact on us, and what we can do okay, to reduce the level of uh, loss, the level of damage, and to ensure that we re reduce uh, any uh, loss of life because we, we want to preserve life and ensure we minimize damage to property. From NADMA's perspective, a lot of uh, public education information, and so we work with our, our district committees and we work with uh, you know, people, or community leaders and stakeholders uh, across the sectors to ensure that people have the relevant information that they need to have about the hazards. So there are so many things that people can do uh, that, that we appreciate, you know, that, that will assist them. So again, you know where your shelters are. Uh, understand what you have to do if you need to go to the shelter. The things that you need to have at home uh, or things that you need to walk with when you're going to the shelter. Uh, understand that you need to have a disaster supplies kit at home. All the items, you know, in that kit, you need to have a first aid kit. Uh, your contact details should be posted, you know, in a particular place. And then you need to have a family disaster plan where your family understands, okay, these are the hazards that can impact us, uh, what we need to do if we're impacted by any of those hazards, you know, escape routes, um, you know, things like that. So, you, so, so there are a number of, um, you know, personal things that uh, people can do, and even businesses, right? They need to have their business continuity plan, and you need to have a, a, a disaster plan for your business based on where you're located. We're taking a comprehensive approach where we look at all the hazards and we bring all people together, okay, so that we can uh, come together, work together uh, to prepare ourselves and our country uh, for the impact of any hazard that may affect us. We can do our part to mitigate against disasters. Early warning, early action for all. We need your help to reduce the effect. Maybe if I wake up and the ass go to make a change, rearrange climate change. Here we go. If you don't know what it can cost.